Well, this is Mr. Anger again. We're going to look at Chemistry Pace 1126. This is a short video just letting you know that for this pace, I think <clears throat> the first, oh, I don't know, 15 pages or so are um, not going to need a lesson. It's a lot of reading, a lot of things for you to kind of digest, fill in some blanks, um, but no problem solving. <clears throat> so it should not be too bad. So that should get you all the way up through... I think uh, page I, A through I in the pace. So uh, go ahead and start working on that on your own. Um, I'm getting ready to make some videos today for page J and several pages after that. There are some, some equations that we'll use. The math isn't too bad. I think we'll help you do that. We're going to learn how to use the magic triangle to do some of that, which I think will help. All right, so hopefully the beginning of this pace. Um, and as always, they throw things in. Um, that you're not going to be held accountable for on the self-test and pace test. So uh, be encouraged. They're going to challenge you a little bit to uh, cover some things, read about some things that you'll say, I don't get this. That's okay. You don't have to understand everything in the pace in order to do well on the test. So do your best. Um, I would encourage you periodically to look at the self-test and uh, just see what kind of things are you being held accountable for. Some of it um, since you don't have to do it on the self-test and pace test, if you're not, you're not totally grasping it, don't worry. Part, that's part of education, is really just being exposed to some ideas. And then if you do go on to college and have to learn chemistry there, at least they won't be brand new. You'll say, I think I kind of remember learning that. And uh, it's just to kind of put the idea out there. <clears throat> But you don't have to master everything. All right, so anyway, I just say that to encourage you. Do your best, and uh, we'll see you in a few pages here.